Thank you, Count Cora. Um, on this very important debate on special education needs, can I first of all start off by thanking SNAs, CNOs, teachers, principals and boards of management for the great work they do for children with disabilities in very difficult circumstances. Every year, many parents of children with special needs meet difficulties in securing school places that they need for their children. In my own county of Wexford, there are lengthy waiting lists for special needs education, and this compounds an already very stressful situation for parents. Our Lady of Fatima National School in Wexford provides an outstanding service, but is constantly oversubscribed. Principal Dare Rita Waters does a fantastic job in the difficult set of circumstances. Recently, there was a, a new building that was only built in 2008, third generation building next door to it, which was flattened for a car park by the HSC that wouldn't hand it over. A total waste of uh, state money by this government. St. Patrick's Special School is now finally being built uh, under the guidance of school principal Lee Rogers, but that's over two years behind schedule as well. There are no official figures on the number of children with special needs who do not have an appropriate place, but the number of parents coming in to me every week in my uh, TD's office is anything to go by. It is quite significant. The lack of special needs education places and the delays in diagnosis as well is leads to great concern among parents that whether or not they're going to get the places their children need. Can I acknowledge um, the work of parents in relation to the children with disabilities? My own sister is spina bifida hydrocephalus, my own goddaughter is Down syndrome, so I'm very aware of the particular circumstances and the challenges faced. No child should experience a delay in the start of their school year because of administrative issues. There's a fundamental failure on the part of the government and the Minister for Education to provide the necessary places for children with special needs. And I asked the Minister, why are children with special needs not being prioritised? Why are they being left behind? And why are parents having to fight constantly to get basic services? Thank you.